When it comes to Huawei, what do you think of immediately? 5G mobile phone? Kirin chip? Indeed, Huawei has made brilliant achievements in the field of communications. But in fact, in the field of photovoltaics that many people don't pay attention to, Huawei also has extremely high achievements. Since Huawei entered the photovoltaic field in 2009, it only took two years for Huawei to overcome the core technology of the photovoltaic industry, and it took less than seven years to become the industry leader in inverters. There are many stories in this, which are worthy of our in-depth exploration. So, how awesome is Huawei photovoltaic tech? Why did Huawei enter the photovoltaic industry, which seems to have nothing to do with it? How did Huawei become the first in the industry from a photovoltaic rookie? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. As for today's video, let's talk about Huawei's photovoltaic technology. Okay, let's get started. First of all, how awesome is Huawei photovoltaic tech? Photovoltaic power generation is a power generation system that converts solar energy into electrical energy. In the field of inverters, Huawei has broken the monopoly of European and American companies and mastered the core technology. So, how good is Huawei in the photovoltaic field? Well, since 2015, Huawei has achieved the most shipments of PV inverters in the world and has maintained it for seven years. To this day, when it comes to photovoltaic inverters, people in the photovoltaic industry in any country in the world will immediately think of Huawei. This achievement is very amazing, because the photovoltaic inverter is the core technology in the photovoltaic field, just like the lithography machine in the semiconductor field. It is a technology that every country and every company in the world is crazy about. Whoever masters the photovoltaic inverter will have an important position in the photovoltaic field. So far, Huawei has ranked first in the photovoltaic market share in almost all major countries in the world. Huawei's PV industry can be found in China, India, Europe, Latin America, and even Africa. In 2021, Huawei has even taken the world's largest energy storage project. This project is the Red Sea New City Energy Storage Project in Saudi Arabia. Huawei will use its top technology in the photovoltaic field to build a world-leading clean energy and green economic center for Saudi Arabia. However, it is a pity that the United States has imposed sanctions on Huawei almost everywhere, and the photovoltaic field is also doomed. As early as 2019, 11 U.S. senators jointly urged the government to exclude Huawei from the U.S. photovoltaic industry. In the following years, the United States imposed sanctions on Huawei's photovoltaic business several times. Although Huawei is currently unrivaled in photovoltaic inverter technology, the development of Huawei's photovoltaic business has not always been smooth sailing. There are many sad stories behind this. In short, Huawei's development in photovoltaic inverter technology is a microcosm of the development of China's domestic inverters. Photovoltaic inverter technology was first successfully developed by the German company SMA. As early as 1991, they created the world's first photovoltaic inverter. It was more than 10 years earlier than Huawei's entry into the photovoltaic field. So how did Huawei come to the fore? This brings us to the Renewable Energy Law enacted by China in 2006. Since the core technology in the photovoltaic industry is the inverter, and almost all German companies mastered the core technology at that time, most of the profits in the entire photovoltaic industry were taken away by German companies. Chinese companies can only do the most common photovoltaic module business, not to mention low profit margins, and extremely brutal competition. At that time, Huawei was struggling with the energy of base stations. The energy supply in many remote areas was not stable, and it could almost only rely on solar power. Coupled with China's policy support at the time, 
Huawei has since decided to enter photovoltaics. From the very beginning, Huawei has determined the research direction, the core technology inverter of the photovoltaic industry. At that time, the photovoltaic inverters on the market had many defects, not only the equipment was easily damaged, but also difficult to maintain, and the labor cost was extremely high. This is mainly because the mainstream photovoltaic companies at that time used centralized photovoltaic inverters. Such centralized inverters simply do not have the ability to pinpoint faults. Once there is a problem, they can only check one by one, but a photovoltaic power station is generally as large as dozens of football fields. It is simply not feasible to rely on blanket inspections to solve the problem. However, many photovoltaic power plants are built in places with relatively harsh natural environments requiring frequent maintenance and troubleshooting. Centralized inverters naturally have disadvantages in this regard. Many centralized inverters have frequent problems after several years of use, which eventually leads to a serious decline in the power generation of the entire photovoltaic power plant. These kinds of problems made Huawei finally decide to abandon the centralized inverter technology and switch to the more costly string inverter at that time. However, before Huawei made string inverters, some foreign companies had actually promoted string inverters in China, but in the end they gave up because of the high cost. Huawei seems to be in a dead end. The operation and maintenance costs of centralized inverters remain high, and their durability is poor. The initial investment cost of the string inverter is too high and the power generation under the same conditions is not as good as that of the centralized inverter. However, solving problems has always been Huawei's strength, especially problems that can be solved by technology. This time is no exception. Huawei quickly assembled a team of engineers to focus on solving the failure rate and cost of string inverters. Huawei used its past experience in base station protection on string inverters, not only making individual inverters fireproof, waterproof and lightning-proof, but also redesigning the internal structure of the inverter, removing all the parts that are prone to failure, such as fans and fuses. Striving to provide the most simple, practical and reliable equipment to customers, which is also Huawei's corporate philosophy of leaving complexity to ourselves and simplicity to our customers. In addition, Huawei has also formed a team of hundreds of doctors to optimize the algorithm of the string inverter and strive to realize the centralized control of the inverter and the precise location of the fault. Huawei's epic-making move is to bring the photovoltaic industry into the era of smart photovoltaics. Since then, Huawei has reduced the overall failure rate of its own string inverters to less than 3 per thousand. At the same time, Thanks to the blessing of Huawei's smart photovoltaic software, many small photovoltaic power plants no longer require on-site maintenance by engineers during operation. Even for many large-scale photovoltaic power plants with hundreds of megawatts, the operation and maintenance team only needs a dozen or 20 people. This was beyond imagination before, but Huawei did it. All in all, Huawei's journey in the photovoltaic field has not been easy. Although it is not the inventor of the photovoltaic inverter, it has come from behind to make string inverters flourish and endow the photovoltaic industry with AI functions, making it infinite potential. All of this is undoubtedly Huawei's contribution to the world's photovoltaic industry. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.